Hi, I'm Reverend Dr. Barbara Calhoun Gibson. I am currently the pastor at Williams Ross United Methodist Church in New Orleans. I was a, a military wife of a husband who was Air Force, and he was stationed at the Air Force Academy, and I um, began to go to the chapel there because it had things to keep my children busy. And I ran across a chaplain by the name of Chaplain Wilborn, who was a United Methodist uh, chaplain for the Air Force Academy. And I did quite a bit of work with him, with working with the young people, the students that come in. And I also was able to had the honor of teaching um, uh, a Sunday school class. So therefore, he kind of noticed my gifts and told me that I was uh, I, he thought I had a calling up on me. So therefore, I, I smiled and laughed at him and said, okay, and thought that was a good sense of humor. But later on in life, as I continued the journey there at the academy with Chaplain Wilborn, I did feel the same call that he had saw within me. So I did not pursue it then in the Mountain uh, Conference, but I did decide to say, well, let's see what this is when we moved back to Louisiana after my husband retired. And I guess on one Sunday morning, an early Easter Sunday morning, I uh, accepted my call. And therefore, I became a United Methodist pastor because I had been a Methodist from the age of 21 when my husband entered the Air Force. One of the stories I'll never forget was my first appointment after leaving Cornerstone United Methodist Church. I went to a little town called Hackley and I said to myself, Hackley, Barbara Gibson going to some place called Hackley and it's Louisiana. So I thought it was funny, but I went there, and it's a very small town filled with people who are all farmers, basically. Some are teachers, but it was the most beautiful assignment that I could have had for my first experience as a pastor. And I enjoyed that. And one of the greatest things that I achieved at that congregation was on Easter Sunday, the second year I was there, I baptized 16 young people. And that was great joy for me. So that's uh, a gist of how my life started in being called and how I enjoy and still do today my call and the call that God has on my life. First, I give thanks to God. And uh, more importantly, I thank him for the husband that he placed in my life because he was very supportive of me as a military wife. I supported him 23 years in the Air Force as an officer's wife. And I also uh, enjoy that and embrace that because it allowed me and my children to travel. And then when it was time for me to make my journey and make my call, my husband said, I will be with you just as you were with me. So I'm very thankful that he supported me 101%. He was my, my uh, strength when I felt weak at times, and he was my cheerleader when he, I needed to feel uh, energized or anything. But he was the source of what kept me going through many of the trials and tribulations I went through other than with Christ Jesus. I knew that I always had God behind me, but God gave me a husband that supported me uh, more than I could have ever expected. So if I was to say thanks to anyone, it would be my late husband, or Jolene Gibson, who I was married to 51 years, but we dated uh, eight years because uh, we were high school sweethearts. At least I was eighth grade, he was 11th grade, but still. Um, we were high school and college sweethearts, and uh, our lives were just meant to be, and God ordained that and I thank him for it. I want to thank the annual conference here in Louisiana for being the conference that they are. We are a small conference, but I thank God that we are a community of people who look out for each other. 
And I pray that we will continue this. And that is the hope that will be inspired in us as we continue the journey. So thank you, Louisiana Conference, for all of your faithfulness. Mm -hmm.